guess who's gonna be back between the pipes on Friday? Mr. Carey Price. And no, I didn't hear this from Marty St. Louis. I didn't hear it from John Liu. I didn't even hear it from Keith Richards. I heard it from the man, the myth, the legend, George LaRock. Yeah, remember him? This guy threw bombs. Look at him go, a trip down memory lane. Yeah, binoculars or not, Burke? Colt Nord just got tossed to the ice like a dirty rag in a washing machine. Anyway, now, what were we talking about again? Yeah, the, the Carey Price news. Let's take a look at the tweet in question here. It's pretty basic. George LaRock says, quote, Carey Price will play in Friday night's game for Montreal. Now, I already know what you're all thinking. How in the hell does George LaRock know about what's going on with Carey Price behind the scenes? Come on! This guy ate more punches than Falcon so I ate hot dogs. Well, listen, you don't have to believe him if you don't want to, but I will. Because not only will George LaRock hunt you down and kill you, but LaRock has actually been right a few times before, okay? It's true, he has, so let's give him the benefit of a doubt here. And this one is actually a pretty safe bet right now anyway. I'm guessing he heard it from somebody within the organization, you know, somebody was whispering into his ears. They told him the plan is to play Carey Price on Friday night, and LaRock went home and said, you know, uh, screw it. I'm gonna be the first one to break this, and then Hockey Junkie's gonna cover it on YouTube, and we're both gonna be heroes. You know, right now, it almost makes too much sense. Ken Hughes has been as busy as a beaver over the past week. He's done some cap juggling. He's made some roster moves to make sure that they had a spot and enough money for Carey Price to make the lineup. They recently sent Jesse Alonen back down to the Laval Rocket. Uh, I'm pretty sure that they just put Jonathan Drouin on long-term injury reserve. And these were a couple of things that needed to happen to make room for scary price. It is kind of funny because tonight the Canadians are about to play the Columbus Blue Jackets. This is the 74th game of the season, and this is the 74th game that Carey Price has missed in a row. And you know, at the beginning, it wasn't supposed to be this bad. Remember back at training camp when we were told that Carey, he's going to be good. He's going to be ready within the first couple of weeks of the season. Well. 74 games later and about uh, 64 minor setbacks, here we are. Carey Price is ready to casually strut into the arena. And if you still don't want to eat none of what George LaRock is cooking here, well, we're not done just here because there is some additional information that was given throughout the past 48 hours that does support Big George's comments. Starting off with John Liu Hu, one of my personal favorite men on the planet. He would say that Carey Price is in fact traveling with the team at Columbus, but he's not going to be the starting goaltender, okay? And if this isn't enough proof either, according to all Chips Ahoy Lavoie, or Lavoie if you don't like memes, Price is now the number one goalie during the Canadiens practice. Lavoie would say, quote, I don't know if Primo will be second to Samuel Montembeau tomorrow, which is actually tonight, but there is one thing that is clear right now. Primo is not likely to see any action with the Canadians in the coming days. Which means Carey Price is back. Skip over a couple of these words here. Everyone, even on the team, thinks that the return of Carey Price will be at home. I'm not telling you that he's going to be playing tomorrow, but what I can tell you though is that officially he's back in the number one goal net. Yes! Carey Price is back! Are you excited? Why? Are you excited? Wait, why am I excited? This season is already over, jeez. But listen to me when I tell you, okay, this is why this is a good thing, okay? It's not a bad thing. There ain't nothing wrong with poor old Carrie over here coming back for just a few games, and I'm gonna tell you why. Scenario number one, okay, he comes back, he plays a few games and he realizes that uh, something's not right. He's just not feeling it anymore. His knees are acting more and more like Pa Barn every day. And he decides to hang up the skates and pick up a new hobby, like maybe scrap off the old folks home or something. Moving on to scenario number two, he plays a couple of games, he looks good, he feels good, and he says, hey, Mr. Clean, let's do it, trade me up. I want to go to another team right now. Or scenario number three, maybe he plays a couple of games and he looks good and he feels good and he says, all right, I'll see you assholes at training camp and uh, fill in the blanks. 
Playing a few games right now is going to give Carey Price a good indicator on what the plan should be for him moving forward. So there you have it. Be confident. We are not going to be fooled by George Larac. He is 100% correct. This is not a late April Fool's joke. This is not George Larac turning heel Hollywood Hawk Hogan style. This is the bee's knees. It's real. And if for whatever reason he's wrong, then I will personally challenge George Larac to a fight. Hey, okay, maybe I'll fight him myself in uh, St. John's or somewhere. Or in my own barn. Maybe Terry Ryan or someone comes in and interferes and, you know, he's the third man in kind of situation. Let me know what you think down in the comments section. Don't forget to wrestle with the like button on the way out of here. And hey, I'll see you next time.